Hello everybody, Ragtag Sagvi here. Welcome to the next episode. In the last episode, we did Talum. And now in this episode, who will we be? Let's maybe be Astaroth for this for this run. What costumes do you have? I don't like that. Ooh, that dark color looks good. I like the purple. I think I'll go with the uh, dark coloring with the purple. Let's use the Terra Moon. <laughs> to Astaroth, the the heretical cult, and the high priest. Kom Pekuku were now nothing more than obstacles in his path. He returned to the temple to the, of the Dark Garb, where he had been born and animated. It, com it completely. Kom Pekuku escaped at the last moment, but the words of the priest spoke Oak has left Astroth to discover the existence of a human being who after had been modeled a uh, despite giant. After who Astroth has been modeled. Undoubtedly the greatest soul on earth, he would uh, offer up that soul as a sacrifice to the cursed sword. The giant figure began to move. He determined his next objective. What Astaroth did not realize, however, was that the root of, root of his faults, the sire cast aside, the status of artificial creation to become a complete being. Had to read really fast there. Shortly after Astaroth left the temple of the Dark God, he noticed someone emanating a fierce hatred from the plate. For the from the place where the temple had stood. Was it a survivor of the cult? Regardless, he needed to eliminate any elements that were likely to prove obstacles in his mission. When Ostrov returned to the temple, he found a powerful member of the cult's assassin organization waiting for him. Watched over by the Almighty Ones, they unleash their fury. I'll strangle the life out of you! Versus assassin fight. Beat her up. Just slam you onto the floor. Asaroth el eliminated the woman who, who swore loyalty to the organization until death. His job here was done. Asaroth existed in order to locate Sol Edge and offer it up to the God of Destruction, an Ares. It was also his purpose to collect souls to feed the sword at that time. It made little difference how he set at about uh, this quest, but there were many who sought on Sol Edge. It would be a nuisance if others got to it first, now what to do? Place priority on searching for Soul Edge, or place priority on eliminating those who seek Soul Edge? Let's look for the sword. Once the sword itself was in his hands, he could use it to collect the souls necessary to revive it. Astrov headed to Europe while searching for incidents that seemed to involve the cursed sword. He heard rumors of a temple in Egypt that had been destroyed. It was said that the destruction had been caused by attacks with a sword. Feeling that the destruction had been caused by Soul Edge, Astaroth headed for Egypt. Anticipation building in his heart, he turns his eyes to the path before him. Rain of blood shall rain down today. All right, I'm getting pumped up. Versus Young Sung, fight. Get off the stage, Jung Sung. You win. Hmm? I guess that was too much. The one responsible for the destruction in Egypt had already left. Because Astroff did not know where he had gone, he headed once more for Europe. The Azure Knight, the former master of Soul Edge, had once dwelled in Isenberg Castle. Perhaps Asheroth could find clues there. 
The ruined castle was still developed in evil energy. It seemed likely that he would find what he was looking for. Go for a swim. You win. Hmm? I guess that was too much. His en energy slipped away and a and ran. She was cloaked in the characteristics of evil energy of Soul Edge. She was likely the one under the sword servants. If that were true, then there's likely was a po the possibility that she was e erasing the trail of soul of the of the sword Asrao sought. Right now, he still might be able to catch her if he intended to interrogate her. He had to act now. Chase after the girl. He could not let her escape. Astroff of chase after the girl, but the blackbirds blocked his path several times. He realized he had lost his target and, sh and shook with anger. Just as he suspected, there was nothing left in the castle. Still anger, still angrily, he began hunting souls in order to, in order for his plans to become reversed. But it didn't matter. Matter. He was going to do it sooner or later. Seeking more powerful souls, he headed to the arena, a gathering place for tough human warriors. Entrust your noble soul in your sword. Stop moving around. It's irritating. All right, let's settle this. Versus Gladiator, fight! Ow! Let's do some fights. You win! I'm gonna squeeze the life out of you! That's the first opponent down. Lend a hand if you want to die. Versus Gladiator, fight! Go for a swim! You win! Hmm? I guess that was too much. Time for the final opponent. It's too late to cower in fear. Versus Dragon, fight! You win! Hmm? I guess that was too much. Astro felt like he was being watched. All enemies before time runs out. Their fury. Don't scream, Kerb. Welcome. Oh, you're one of the shop. Valeria, fight. You're one of the shopkeepers. I forgot they can be opponents in the uh, story mode. Is it all three girls? Yeah, that's the weapon shop uh, shopkeeper. Fight. Ow. 
she's kicking my ass. And I'm gone. You lose. Thank you. After continuing his soul hunting for a while, Astaroth calmed down and resumed his search for Soul Edge. A man who claimed to know of the cursed sword appeared before him. Astaroth accepted the man's offer to reveal ill his secrets and headed for the clock tower. He knew there had to be a catch, but he proceeded un undaunted. Even if it were a trap, he would simply make the ma take the man's soul. I cannot allow a monster like you to possess that sword. I will not allow you to get in my way. Let's go! <laughs> and now you will lose to that monster! Versus Zasalamel, fight! <laughs> And down we go. I guess that was too much. The Azure Knight Nightmare has risen once more and now heads east in search of the power he had lost. If you desire Soul Edge, then seek him out. With these words, the man disappeared into the shadows. The Azure Knight has arisen? If that was true, then, and just as the man said, he surely wields Soul Edge. Following the information that the Azure Knight had left for the east, Astaroth entered the eastern lands. He sensed powerful evil energy and arrived at the temple, oh, and, oh, temple ruin in the mountains. Evil energy swirled about the ruins, a stone monument that had been sliced in two. Ooh, ooh, ooh told the story of evil energy that had been sealed here and was now released. The cult in the stone, the cut in the stone, was clearly that of a soul. So there was little doubt that the Azure Knight had been here recently. As Azeroth thought to himself, someone attacked. Her quest to save her brethren drives her onward. You deserve to die. I will never lose. Versus Song Mina, fight. And if I Song Nia. Ow. And that's a grab. Let's grab you. You win. I'll crush you. Astaroth push, pursued the Azure Knight, collecting the souls of all those he encountered along the way. The trail continued east, and Astaroth eventually crossed over to an island. Island country in the far east. The Knight's target was probably a band of thieves that were rumored to be gathering fragments of Soul Age. Astaroth was about to attempt um, to close the gap between himself and the Azure Knight, when he suddenly noticed a fierce presence directed towards him. He didn't know who it was, uh, but they were obviously challenging him very well. Her shadow moves with stealth and disappears into darkness. I will crush the life out of you! Well, at least your stance is correct. Ha. Versus Tucky. Fight! Trying to fight Tucky! <laughs> Ow. Actively kicking my ass. Got her. You win. Want me to tear you apart?
His enemy he, he be, had been once used to purify, who used purified arts. Alright, Astroth managed to defeat her, but it looked like, like it would take some time for his body to completely recover. Unfortunately, this would would likely mean that the distance between him and the Azure Knight would grow. At this point, however, there was nothing that could change that. Several days later, Astroth was on his way to Mount Fuji. His target was surely long gone, but he he could have left a trail. When Astroth entered the underground cave, someone attacked. A man veiled in mystery appears. This is in Mount Fuji? Disappear and never come back! Evil or not, die! Versus Yoshimitsu, fight! I do not like that outfit of Yoshimitsu's. I think that's his ult. Ow! And I'm gone. As soon as I saw him grab me. Those without courage oppress the weak. Nine. Time to slaughter. Thou shalt be slain. My apologies. Versus <laughs> At least he's apologetic about it. It's like, yeah, you need to die, so I do apologize for killing you. <laughs> Ooh, I almost went for a lava bath. Yep, you're definitely gonna take a few tries. I can see that. What move was that? You lose. Nothing. Nice. I was doing well, and he's like, "Yep, you lose." Thy life, I shall take. Versus Yoshimitsu, fight. Oh, he had his back to me. I could have. You win. Finally beat him. I guess that was too much. Azeroth restored the fragments of Soul Edge hidden in the cave, and his body was healed. At the same time, the fragments began to resonate within his body. He could easily sense the whereabouts of the Azure Knight. With this, he could never lose the trail again. The rest was only a matter of time. The moment when he would take Soul Edge from the Azure Knight grew closer. Azeroth was steadily closing the distance with, the, with Nightmare. Eventually, he arrived at a cathedral in a remote area. Soul Edge was here. When he entered the cathedral, a giant, a, a giant white form blocked his path. Was this the white giant? Azeroth instantly entered a state of excitement. He would attain the ultimate soul to feed E to the sword. Show me your strength. I must stop you here. Versus rock. What is that weapon he is using? <laughs> it looks like a statue that's been attached to a stick, like a, a head of a bus attached to a stick. It's like, yeah, let's use this person's bus as a weapon. Ooh, that was a good grab. Doesn't matter, because I'm gone. You lose. He was a powerful adversary. Nine. I'll strangle the life out of you. Let's see what you've got. Versus rock. Fight. Ow. I can't even hit him. And of course, he blocked pretty much anything I threw at him. He was a powerful adversary. Nine. Shut up and die already. Spirits, grant me strength. Versus rock. Fight. 
Really? Come on! Yeah, go for a swim. You win. A good soul. How impressive. Not even turning around at the bars that fell behind him, Astroff ran, judging from the sounds that echoed through the hallway. The battle was extremely fierce. He continued to run and stepped into the battle. And the fight nightmare. Okay, let's throw you to the floor. Got him. You win. I'm gonna squeeze the life out of you. I'm impressed that you made it this far. Not bad at all. My dream is about to be realized. You, however, are not worthy of witnessing this glorious moment. Leave this place at once. Let's use Soul Edge to beat him. Fight. Ow. Let's see how many tries this takes. Oh, push him off? Yeah! You win. Quick and easy. I guess that was too much. That is Asheroth's story. That definitely went by a little quicker than most. 
I especially love the very quick kill I got on Abyss because I ring him out. But anyway, I'll end the episode here while you guys watch the credits. It's, if you enjoyed this episode, do like the videos, it helps tremendously. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below on your thoughts of this episode and share the videos so more people can discover my I content and help the channel grow. And I'll see you for who I play next. Later.
legend will never die.